Hey guys, I'm Catherine, and today I'm going to show you how to generate some quick random facts inside of your terminal. And so if we open the terminal here, we can generate, you know, some random facts. And to do this, we are going to need to print them to, you know, our console terminal thing here. And to do that, we need cat. And basically what that does, it just prints it right here, whatever I put next. And so whatever this input is, blah, 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 you know, that's what it's going to print out inside of this console. And so what are we going to print out? Well, we're going to do slash user, slash share, slash calendar, slash calendar dot history. And so this is going to go all the way to this folder and then print out calendar dot history. And so if we hit enter, we have all of these random dates, you know, and facts that happened on these dates. And so we have Battle of New Orleans. We have a bunch of stuff here. Do, do, do. We have the first soap opera, Secret Storm, on, you know, February 1st. And some of them have multiple days and some of them, you know, don't have any. So we jump from one to four. And so this is, you know, a lot of facts for your average person, but we can actually find more facts. And so if we go up again, and we don't need to go up because we're going to write a completely new command. And what we're going to do is ls slash user slash share slash calendar slash dot. And this is going to show us all the random fact calendars that are built into Apple. And so we have, you know, calendar dot music, a lot of these things. And so if we go up up here and instead of history, we do dot music. We have all of these famous dates that deal with music. And so, you know, something about Harry Chaplin being born, um, Mozart dying, um, very specific dates here, George Harrison. And it's not just, you know, life and death here. We have the first sound recording by Thomas Edison, very important. And so these are some random facts. And if you go back up to our calendars, again, you have lots of random facts to choose from. But what if you don't want, you know, how many is this? Uh, 365 if it's every day. Lots of, you have lots of facts here. What if you don't want this many facts? What if you want just, you know, one fact or a fact on this specific day or something like that? Say we want to retrieve, you know, this 1129. We want to just have this, you know, fact and print it out inside of our console. We don't want everything here. Well, we can use something called piping and something called grep. So if we go back down here to our cat user share calendar.history, except here we were talking about music, so we'll do calendar.music. And we have this thing, we're gonna use a pipe that is going to allow us to use this input for the function that we write over here. So if we do grep 1129, that's a date. What's going to happen is everything from this command is going to be fed into grep 1129. And so we're going to get all of these results, all of these, you know, this whole file. But then grep is going to allow us to eliminate all the ones that do not have this, you know, string, this number thing that we've created here. And the only one that's going to have that is this thing up here, unless, you know, it's a part of some other fun fact, which it probably isn't. So if we hit enter, we just get this one command because what happened was we ran this function and then we fed this thing into input for our grep and our grep searched for anything that had 1129 in it and the only thing that had it was this. What about Thomas Edison? He's probably in a lot of fun facts. And so if we do up and we say grep Thomas Edison, hit enter, we aren't going to get an answer because we should use quotations around this guy. So if we use Thomas Edison, hit enter. There we go. We have two options because there were two fun facts that were by Thomas Edison. And so you do need the quotations if you're doing a multiple word search. Um, and it does have to be exact. If I did the same thing, but I had Edison lowercase, it's not going to find anything because in both of these cases, Edison, you know, was capitalized. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something and now you have all of these random facts that you can show people and things. And so bye bye.